One stock in the S&P 500 Technology Index, and there are 70 tech stocks in the S&P 500, 69 down, one up. It is SanDisk. After reporting better than expected third quarter results, take a look. Revenue climbed 23% since last quarter. But here's the kicker. Third quarter profits are down 67% since last year. Total revenue also down 10% year over year. But is this a quarter turnaround for the chip maker? Sanjay Marotra is the CEO of Sandisk. He joins us now from Milpitas, California in a Fox Business exclusive. It's just amazing. We, we know how to pick them at Fox Business because, again, I mean, 69 of the 70 tech stocks in the S&P 500 down. We've got you. You're the one that's moving higher today. What is it about this quarter that got you three upgrades and a stock that's moving higher by 4%? Hi, Liz. Good to be on the show. And uh, Q3 was a solid quarter for SanDisk. We delivered strong sequential revenue growth. Our sales of flash memory in embedded applications, embedded inside mobile phones, tablets, grew substantially on a sequential basis, as well as our retail business did very well worldwide. We believe we gained share in most geographies in the world. And SanDisk also expanded our profit margins and we are looking at uh, a good outlook for the fourth quarter as well. Yeah, I mean, three analysts agree with you at least. So, and, and I just want to let our viewers know, when you say sequentially, perhaps that's really what got their attention. Quarter over quarter, you saw improvement. I mean, year over year, yeah, down 67%. But, you know, this is such a cyclical business, meaning if there is too much inventory, the stock drops. If there's a, less inventory, and right now there seems to be a little bit of a squeeze when it comes to the inventory. So predict what happens in the next couple of weeks, because I've covered you for so long. It really is, is very much a month-by-month -month type of company. Uh, uh, Liz, the environment in our industry is healthy. The demand for flash memory in smartphones, tablets, uh, ultra-thin notebook computers, as well as flash, now in servers and data centers, this demand is growing rapidly. And the environment in our industry in terms of demand and supply balance is healthy as well. And this is what is really uh, leading us to guide strong revenue growth in the fourth quarter as well. And the outlook for 2013 for our industry is bright as well because there is a strong demand supply balance that we expect in 2013. Demand continues to grow well for our products and Sandisk position in the marketplace continues to strengthen as well. Well, yesterday, people were not focused on Sandisk or, frankly, many other stocks. They were focused on Google. And Larry Page came out. We were, we were listening so closely to his, his earnings call after the bell. And, and he said one thing. I don't you know your thoughts on this. He said, we all now feel naked without our smartphones. I mean, we're embarrassed to all admit it, but we, we're so used to gripping it in our little paw now that we feel frantic without it. But how much can you really capitalize with your flash memory business on everything that's out there? And particularly, you know, Apple's such a giant in all of this. Can you, can you at least talk about that? Liz, flash memory is in all of these smartphones, it's in these tablets, and these devices, it's absolutely correct. People around the world love these devices. These are the hottest devices around these days, and the demand for these is continuing to grow because they really enable smart digital lifestyle. And even for professionals, you know, it makes them more productive. So this is the trend that is really where we are supplying flash memory. We are right in the middle of the mm -hmm. sweet spot of the market trends, and I believe that this trend will continue to grow. You know, if you look at industry reports, this year, 600 smartphones getting sold worldwide. In a matter of about three years, one billion smartphones will be getting sold per year, and flash is going to be a key enabler in these devices to provide the experience that you and I have become so used to, right. whether it is capturing our business information or pictures or videos and sharing them. Everything. And, and it's almost disposable now. The newer one comes out and everybody gets rid of the one that they had. You and I have talked before, especially recently, about your enterprise or business customers. Can you give me 20 seconds on, on how that's changing? And will you eventually, you're going to get mad at me for asking this question, but would you eventually get out of the removable flash memory business and that would be your retail business? So first, let me tell you that retail business is a very important part of Sandisk business. It's a solid business. Sandisk brand is number one brand worldwide. We will absolutely continue to support and drive the retail business for Sandisk. You know, we get good margins, good profitability on this business. So we are very committed to continuing to leverage Sandisk brand to grow our retail business worldwide. 
Regarding enterprise, this is exciting opportunity for us. We are doing well with a broad portfolio of products in this market space as well, and we look forward to driving strong okay. growth in this segment. Well, you're, you're, you're having strong growth in the stock today, and that's, that's a rarity, up 4% for the stock on these news. And good to see Sanjay. Sanjay and I are both um, UC Berkeley grads, so this weekend the big game against Stanford, go Bears, right? That's right, <laughs> absolutely. Cal is going to win. I know, yes. right, until they don't. A closing bell ringing in 28.